Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Alyssa and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Emma Legger Call It Spring Bijou Heel um, from her new collab with Call It Spring. I'm gonna be going over my first impressions um, and also if I'd recommend you purchasing as well uh, if you wanna add these to your collection. So let's get into it. So I just received this package. It comes in a baby pink box with the Emma Legger Call It Spring logo on it. And upon opening it, it has a really cute note from her just saying, thank you, stunning queen. You know, the usual Emma Legger uh, talk track. And it comes with beautiful baby pink wrapping paper, really nicely stuffed. And again, I got the Bijou heels and these are the heels in black. On first impressions, I won't lie, you guys, the patent was way too much for me. Um, I guess I w didn't notice on the website as much, or maybe the promo pictures didn't show how actually shiny these would be. Um, and I personally don't love the look of patent leather. I think it can come off a little bit cheap, and most of the time it doesn't really vibe with the rest of my wardrobe. So we were already off to a bit of a, a rough start. Um, I did get a size seven, and normally I'm a seven and a half. Uh, but with shoes that don't have a back or an open toe, I can pull off a seven and these fit comfortably. I think I would still take my true size, but I was able to work with the size seven. The thing I loved about the shoes was first the cushioning inside. So it looks like a lot of Call It Spring shoes actually are made with memory foam pads inserted already, which is a really great bonus. And you can feel them here in the toe box as well as on the heel. Very nicely cushioned um, compared to some other shoes I have from Bellini or Princess Polly. These definitely felt very, very comfortable when I tried them on. The other thing I loved about the shoe was this square heel. I know that this silhouette is all the rage right now, but I could not find any of them with a square heel. It was either a block heel or a stiletto heel, uh, but I love this one. I find these very comfortable, but they're still sexy and somewhat slim. So they kind of do two in one, right? It's comfortable, but it's still sexy. The other pro that I really liked about these was of course they were affordable. These were $50 with shipping, it was around 60, and that's a really, really good deal when you compare to some other shoes that look like this. Um, they're just not in a similar price point. They're, you know, Steve Madden, um, they're Ray heels, and I loved that these were an affordable option. So all in all, even though there are pros to the shoe, I am gonna be returning them. I just felt like the patent wasn't my style. I didn't like the way it looked. And also with the straps on, I just felt like it looked like a telephone cord on my ankle. It didn't sit flush, it was digging in, it wasn't comfortable. Um, and I just, I didn't think it was really my cup of tea. I'm sad to be returning these because I've yet to find a dupe for them with the same silhouette and the lace up detailing. Um, but I just couldn't picture myself reaching for these often. Um, I tried them on with a bunch of different bottoms and I just didn't like how they looked. But if you're interested in purchasing them, I'm gonna leave them down below. There's also a blush color that goes along with it. Um, so I'll leave that one as well. Um, and that's it for the video today. So please be sure to like it down below if you enjoyed it and it helped you, as well as subscribing to my channel to support me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.